Hi, welcome to Free Spirit and welcome to the overall weekly going into the 15th of April. So uh, it's just a repeating message that as much as there's things going on on the outside, there's just as much going on on the inside. And I'm finding April is so much more, yes, getting so much done on the outside, but so much is getting done on the inside as well. And you could find it almost like they keep on saying to me also, you could find better ways of doing things and having things work better for you. And you could be tweaking along the way and it's priceless, right? So you could be getting aha moments or gently being guided to things. And what really brought home to me too was like, as much as it could be crazy or people are pulling at your energy and everything, you can still, the amount of power and control that you have in a moment to either find the right pace or have things still work in your benefit more or, just it's just so eye-opening I mean I can't even put into words everything and it. it will be different for everyone but you could find that you're really learning how to juggle so much more not just on the outside but on the inside and definitely finding tweaking things along the way and finding things that work in the end much better for you and it could be a really an ongoing theme for April because I find that's like an oncurring message and also it was oncurring about your strength and power in moments to moments of being there with that awareness of where your power lies moment to moment and how you can make it work better for you. And I just find that amazing. So not only are you doing the work, but how are you doing things on the inside or tweaking things and having it work better for you? Um, I just find it amazing. So you could find that you're doing a lot of tweaking, uh, a lot of revising, a lot of new ways of doing old things, right? Um, so not only about new things, but bringing new ways of doing old things. It's just really amazing, okay? So we're, this is for the April 15th. We're gonna tap into the archangels for the messages for the journey for all of us. We're gonna tap into the energy we're dealing with. We're gonna tap into the goddess guidance. We're gonna tap into what to surrender to make it easier. There's so much like when you letting go of a lot, you could feel that you have really released a lot leading up to here. They're clearing you out. Um, it's just amazing. So you're almost like greeting things in a new way. Like they said, fresh eyes, fresh heart. So no doubt that could really help with what you're doing. We're going to tap into messages from heaven and we're going to end it with guardian angel messages. Um, definitely pay attention to your own intuition besides what I say. Also remember what comes out. I'm finding very often what comes out feeds us in the moment and then later as life happens, it's like there for you then as well. Um, whatever the length of the video is, I'll look up the angel number message. It'll be the first pinned comment and just clear out and get ready to receive messages that want to come through for love support backing for the week of the 15th. Let's get into it. The week of the 15th. They know better than I everything that's going on in your mind and heart, inside and out, what you're dealing with. Just get ready to receive. This is for April 15th, the week of April 15th for the journey. You're going to get very specific. Okay, number one thing, Ace of Gabriel landing right on the heart. So there are definitely new projects coming in. They could be reinvigorating you on the inside out, definitely for like more spirit and everything else. But this, what came to me was something's coming in for you to get a work on. These are new things in the physical. So it could be new work projects. It could be whatever. But also um, they're re-energizing you to, on the inside to have the stamina, the energy, the spirit to do it. But what when it first landed, I also felt that there's new things coming in and it is for you to get to work on. So they're literally saying it's a gift of passion, opportunity and inspiration. It's the chance to do something amazing, a sense of wonder. But I think this is definitely new work projects, new things for you to get to work on. And you're also going to feel like just what they said, as much as you're doing things on the outside, your work, your projects, you're going to feel an upliftment in your spirit, your passion. Um, energy to do things so definitely a dual thing going on here 10 of ariel love that and queen of Raphael. they were saying they were bringing us all to our heart space to feel linked with them and they're connecting you back to your heart space you who's watching to embody this queen of Raphael is going to be it right um in every reading that is what has come up um you could feel a real close connection that you're empathic and you're getting a lot of divine guidance see the moon here that's 
that's been a repeating message, but also you're coming from your heart path. You are very caring, a caregiver, I wanna say. You're generous and you're also very empathic. And it's those skills that, um, those pieces of you that are really serving you very well in April. And no doubt that's where they want you to come from. And also there are new projects, things to work on that are definitely gonna lead to a sense of abundance in your life, that there's gonna be rewards for hard work, um, that the projects and the efforts that you're doing, this is this 10 of Ariel is usually raining coins, right? Raining money, it's usually the 10 of pentacles. They're saying there is so very much to be grateful for. There's financial success, the promise of retirement, which is just an influx and a rich and rewarding family life. So no doubt the new things that are coming in for you to get to work on, the projects, everything else. It's adding to your abundance. It's adding to the re rewards of your life. It's adding to your gratefulness of life. And they want you actually to embody this Queen of Raphael. And literally the qualities in the card is kind, understanding, giving, psychic, follow your heart. It's a time of love, of home and family and trustworthy psychic information. Um, they were saying it's off the charts, your divine connection at this time. Just like I was saying, with the work that you're doing and the things that you're doing to create a rewards and influx in your life, you're receiving a lot of divine guidance to feel very close to them. They're keeping you, again, like in your heart space and very psychic at this time. But no doubt, the projects, the work that you're doing and everything else is really a fulfilling time. You could feel that you're very grateful at this time, that there's a sense of rewards coming from the projects that you're working on. Um, you could be actually celebrating. There's a lot to be grateful for here. It's financial success. Success. Um, so that's what they're saying here. Continue to follow your heart here. You're definitely coming from your heart space. You are the empath, the feeler, the sensitive. Um, and you could feel that they are actually new things coming in here that's going to add to your feeling of feeling grateful at this time, that there's rewards or financial success from the efforts that you've put in. Yeah, again, an ace of area. Oh my gosh, yes. This is definitely, they're just, I was like, is there anything more? So definitely they're highlighting. It is definitely the new things that you're getting to work on in the physical that's creating this success. So no doubt the angels are like, stay lit and focused. That's the gift of passion, right? So they're keeping you very much. I mean, it reads like a sentence. You embody this, the queen of Raphael. You're psychic. You are coming from your heart space. There's new things coming in for you to work on and everything else. And also to keep you passionate and lit and focused on the work because the work is leading to results, to financial success. Um, you're going to be grateful for like the rewards of the success that it's bringing. So quite literally, they're saying take great pride in your excellent work. Practice makes perfect. Consider getting additional education or training. Here, it's your lucky day. There are new resources, money, time, support, a change in your job or promotion. Two aces are the divine is helping you. Like the divine is bringing in new things for you to get to work on that's going to add to your abundance. It's also helping you on the inside to be passionate and lit and full of like spirit and passion and uh, resilience and determination and staying focused on what you're working on because it's the dual that's creating the success. It's the dual. Um, so no doubt they are keeping you lit and in your heart space doing the work. And there are new things coming in. Just like they said, the divine is helping you on the outside and inside. They're helping you on the inside to remain energized doing the work. And there are new things coming in here, right? It's your lucky day. They're bringing in things for you to work on that's literally going to add to your success, add to your influx. Um, so they're bringing, the divine is bringing things in for you to get a work on that is going to literally add to your sense of happiness and abundance. You could be feeling a real sense of gratefulness for these aces, for whatever's coming in, right? I'm just saying that right now. Um, you're going to feel a gratefulness. Just like they said, the divine is helping you. You have divine partners. And look, as you're doing the work here, here are your divine partners. There's a lot that you're going to be grateful for because you kind of know that your work here is going to be paying off or is paying off. There's a sense of gratefulness. There's a sense of feeling very connected to them and feeling almost like grateful for what you have. Grateful. We had that appreciation card come out in a recent reading in April as well. So it's like, you know, the work they're helping you bringing in projects and good things like resources, time, money, promotions, jobs um, that you're getting a work on that's adding to your abundance and you're grateful for it. They're keeping you as the Queen of Raphael. When you're connected to your heart space, you are so connected to them and it is amplified and you're getting such profound Literally, your psychic, your through all your clairs, 
trustworthy psychic information, explanation mark, explanation mark, explanation mark. They're the ones that are keeping you lit, doing the work on what is coming in that is quite literally adding to your abundance. I mean, that it, it is a sentence and there's no words to like really bring this home anymore, but that's the sentence for April. And so you could be feeling that, that there's like new things coming in here that you're getting a work on that is paying off for you and it's bringing more abundance to you. It, you're grateful for it. You feel a stronger connection to your loved ones, best friend, your spirit guides, and you're back in your heart space, like just feeling connected with them and also coming from that place with others. It's what you are. I mean, that's what's been coming up um, to the heart space. I am like lack of words here. The, the, the queen, anytime there was a heart card or um, being in your power and you're paralyzed with almost following, literally following your heart at this time. You can't be steered wrong. It's your compass. It's trustworthy psychic information. And um, they're just keeping you like doing the work on the things that are coming in. And it's adding to your abundance, no doubt about it. Um, and there could be a sense of gratefulness for this because you know that you're getting divine help with this um, on the inside out. Like they're keeping you energized and lit and with passion. But it's you working on these things and it's bringing in the influx. It's bringing in the rewards. So the energy landed right on the Eight of Ariel. So no doubt there's something about your energy. The thinking man. When you're thinking, here's the abundance. And here it is. So the work that you're doing to increase your abundance. See how he's thinking on his abundance. Is this four six? But he's thinking about his abundance. He is focused on his abundance. The work that you're doing, you're focusing on your results. You're focusing on your hard work paying off. They're keeping you there. But then also what I want to say is this is trustworthy psychic information. Like I said before, they are helping you as you're doing the work here that's adding to your abundance. Um, so quite literally feel this connection amplified at this time. Keep following your heart at this time. And as you're focusing, focusing on your abundance, focusing on doing the work that's adding to your abundance. Ten of Ariel is all about the abundance, the influx, that they are genuinely helping you with the rewards. They're genuinely helping you as you're thinking, figuring it out, how you're doing this. As you're doing the work here, they're helping you. That has been a repeating message and you're going to find that. Now, first of all, they're helping you because they're bringing new things in for you to work on. They're also bringing in that new inspiration and spirit into you, keeping you lit energy-wise. But as you're doing the thinking, they're helping you as they're giving you trustworthy psychic information. So as you're doing the work, it's like, what are you doing? How are you doing it? And um, they're helping you to figure this out. Just like I said, like you're tweaking things. You could find better ways of adding, uh, shifting things and, and creating more of your abundance. That's part of your work. Like not just working on the actual things that come in, but the work while you're doing it, the thinking part of it. Like how are you doing things? Can you do it in a better way? How can you grow this abundance, your results? You're getting trustworthy psychic information about that. I have chills when I say that because if, when that is going to ring very true to you that you're actually getting assistance on like, how are you better? Um, how is your work paying off? How are you doing this in a better way? How are you seizing everything that the divine's giving you? Um, staying lit and how are you figuring out ways of amplifying even your results? They're helping you to figure this out as you're focused on your abundance. Like the divine is helping you stay focused and working on increasing your abundance. And there's a lot to be grateful for here because they're assuring your financial success. This is the promise of influx. So the work you're doing now, and even the way that you're figuring out things and thinking and everything, being this and staying connected to them is really helping you when it comes to your abundance, to adding your results. Um, there's gonna be a feeling of grateful for this. It's like divine help with abundance, basically. But it is through your efforts and work but they're helping you. I don't know what else to say about it. So this is like divine support for your abundance as you're doing the work, as you're seizing everything. And even as you're thinking about it, they're helping you to figure out how you're increasing your abundance. Let's get the goddess guidance because this is definitely focusing on bringing in more of your abundance, the results for your hard work. They're almost, it's like the promise, right? It's, they said it's the promise. It's the financial success. So they're definitely uh, helping you bringing those things in that are going to help you when it comes to abundance. And also for you to stay really focused on that. Now, as much as that's a learning curve too, because everything pulls at our time, our energy, our focus, but they're keeping you... 
they're keeping you really focused. Um, keep going back. Like they're pointing focus, right? This is eight of pentacles focused on your work. He is focused. They're going to keep you, your focus, 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 like grab everything they're giving you and focus. They're helping you to think things out and um, giving you a lot of great information that could help you inside and out to add to your abundance for your hard work to pay off and have more results. It's pretty amazing. It's like divine help for abundance. And I think even with the abundance reading, we had you're receiving divine help. And here it is, like no doubt about it, you're, you're receiving divine help for abundance again. But it is as you're doing the work, as you're doing the efforts, as you're grabbing everything they're giving you, as, as, like absolutely. Is there any goddess guidance uh, assistance here as they're definitely helping you as you for your abundance, as you're figuring out and everything along the way, as you're doing the work, as you're doing the efforts, yeah, you are the sorcerer. Yeah, it's landing here. Like, do not doubt. You know what I also got, like, earlier this week, there was like, do not doubt, like, your brilliancy when you're connected to them, this trustworthy psychic information, how they're helping you to manifest things. This is the sorcerer. This is, you are a magical person who who can manifest your clear intentions into reality. That's why they're telling you to focus, focus, and do the work, right? This is magical, what's happening here, because here are the two aces where they're giving it to you inside and out, the things to do, the grab and do the work and stay focused. But this is you manifesting this. Like they're telling you that you are a magical person. You're a magical person embodying this here, close connection with them. Don't forget that as you're manifesting things because they're saying you are a magical person who can manifest your clear intentions into reality, your clear intentions into reality. They are getting you somehow very, very clear through the focus, focus and clear. And it is resulting in the 10 of Ariel. Now, th th what I'm saying is there's an up a notch with this. This is what as you're thinking and working this out, they're helping you to get very clear. Now, this could be, this could be a real learning curve on how you're bringing this in more efficiently. That they're really giving you divine help on how you're maximizing your results by your work, by your efforts, and how you're thinking about things. Even looking at like an old, looking at things in a new way, um, you could be really manifesting much more clearly going forward they're kind of aiding you to do that like clearly manifesting better right having clearer better results i'm telling you this is going to be a learning curve like as i they said as much as you're doing on the outside you're doing on the inside it's like maximizing your results with your clear intentions with your clear focus um, and they're bringing things in for you to work on. It's definitely from your work. This is not proof overnight. It's from your works and your efforts and your focus. But they're telling you, like, don't deny how magical you are when it comes to your clear intentions. And it's like a learning curve. And you could be really getting a lot of trustworthy psychic information that when you're applying it, it's really adding to your results here this time around. It really is. Um, you could be finding that. That's going to be part of what you're going to be grateful for as you're seeing an influx in returns or an influx in your work paying off or in results. Because that's where they're gearing you. It's really divine support. Surrender the fear. Surrender the fear and surrender to creativity. Yes, you are a sorcerer. You are doing the work here. So surrender the fear and, and surrender to creativity. They are sitting you, like it's going to be up a notch is what I'm saying. So there could be like different uh, clarity of focus, a clarity of intention, um, knowing where to apply your focus and work. Um, they're, as you're thinking about it, they're giving you divine information and psychic information. They're even giving you the things to work on and also keeping you lit on the inside to do it. They're telling you, they're supporting this sorcerer, or this manifester here, right? To create this. So they're li literally saying, let go of the fearful stories you're telling yourself. Stay in the moment. Focus. You can't make this up. Focus on solutions and celebrate every baby step forward and surrender to creativity. Let your imagination soar. Stay open to all creative ideas about how to pursue a dream or solve a problem. Because when you stay, when you let go of the fear and stay open, they are giving you trustworthy psychic information. They are giving you the things coming in to grab and to work on and to use, right? So there's something about they're really backing you up to get out of the fear and surrender back to creativity and just soar. Stay open to the creative ideas, how to pursue your dreams. 
This is what you're manifesting. They're helping you to manifest maximizing your results or maximizing your hard work paying off. So surrender any fear and getting back to creativity and seizing everything that you're given and unleashing the, the sorcerer in you with that when you have clear intentions and you have, and you're clear because you've let go of the fear and you're just surrendering back to, to uh, creativity and knowing you have this love support backing, you're just like this powerful sorcerer, creator here. And it's going to be up a notch. You're going to feel love support backing very directly with them. That they're kind of giving you not only like to stay lit like this, but also the information that they're giving you on how to maximize this is going to be amazing. You're going to be grateful for it, but also you're going to be grateful for the results that are going to come in from the work and the efforts that you're doing and how you're thinking and staying focused on the things that are really paying off for you. It's going to be amazing. Now, they're definitely working with you on surrendering fear. And I'm not talking about a one and done. I'm talking about um, on the daily of like replacing, infusing the negative or the fearful or like they said, let go of the fearful stories. You stay in the moment. You focus 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 on the solutions celebrate every baby step forward here they're staying stay open to all the creative creative ideas how to pursue a dream how to solve a problem they're propelling you you're the creator you're the manifester you're doing the work here they're like take great pride in your work in the other reading they said you are getting a star for your efforts for jobs well done they are over your shoulder like doing that as well there's definitely going to be like luck on your side you're going to feel that that um that they're definitely bringing you like new things to work on new resources that can you can use that are actually going to add to your abundance they're actually going to make you feel more like this card things to celebrate and influx hard work being paid off as you're thinking things through when it comes to work when it comes to adding to your abundance you're going to get divine ideas they're helping you like they said, stay open because they're actually helping you with creative ideas. Like they said, how to, in the beginning when I said, you can learn how to have things work better for you or what comes in as you're tweaking things. Like stay open, stay open, stay open, stay open. But this is definitely like maximizing your results, you know, and as you're doing the work, they're helping you. They're, it's to find help for results, basically. Yeah, I mean, it just is. It's really amazing what's going on here. I, I don't even have the words. Tune into the rhythm of nature and let us connect together there. It landed here. See here that you're connected. They want you to know that you're connected with them. Take moments, whether it's through nature or, or stay in the pace of uh, stay connected with them because you're going to get a lot of psychic information. You're also going to stay lit doing the work when you feel a closeness with them. See the angel here. See the angel here. There's something about staying connected with them as you're doing the work here, getting the information. Tune into the rhythm of nature. Let us connect together there. Breathe in and out. Connect. I just am feeling this connection. They want you as you're here. This is the card to embody, they said, that you're the queen of Raphael here in your power. Um, receiving a lot of psychic information, but to feel the closeness is going to be very important. That's been a repeating message. When you're here in the physical, uh, to know that you're connected with them. Let us connect together there. They're definitely helping you as you're working, as you're thinking, as you're maximizing your results. Also to let go of the fearful stories, anything you tell yourself and stay open to creative ideas of how to even work things better in a better way, like increasing your results in some way. Um... You know, because here they're saying new resources, new things coming in, a chance to do something amazing. Again, never forget your love, love never dies. So the two, I mean, never forget, I mean, stay connected together here. Never forget, this is the second time this came out. You are loved and love never dies. They're just going to make you feel this. They're going to make you feel this, and I don't have words for this, but um, as you're here doing the work, it's been a repeating message to almost feel like they're over your shoulder is going to be priceless at times. You're going to feel like all of a sudden you're having an easier time letting go of the fearful stories or something and staying open to divine ideas that could really help you maximize results, maximize um, your intentions, maximize what you're trying to manifest and create, that they're helping you with the results and even the ideas and how you're working, right? Like as you're thinking, you could get really divine ideas. Because two aces is like they're helping you on the outside with things, new things coming in, and also on the inside to stay lit for it and do the work. And as you're thinking things up, they could really be helping you to open up your mind and receive more creative ideas 
and um, also let go of the fear. But this is, you. they're telling you you're a magical person who can manifest your clear intentions into reality. And it is. Like, this is the results of your hard work. So they're like, don't doubt that. They do not doubt that, that there's a lot to be grateful for and you're getting the influx from your hard work. They're telling you it's from... And they're keeping you, like, stay connected with them. You're a very magical person. On the bottom of the deck is love. Love. Yeah, talk about surrender fear. They wanted me to show this. Surrender fear, surrender back to your creativity. They're the ones that are, like, supporting you. Like they said, be that queen of Raphael. They're the ones that are saying as you're doing the work, negative thoughts and feelings are sabotaging your pursuit of happiness. We, your angels, are here to help you heal. Allow our healing light to flow through your heart. Consciously infuse each negative thought or feeling with love and light and feel both your heart and mind aligning to your soul's sacred purpose and unleash your divine potential through the power of love. Unleash. Unleash. They're, they're saying you're like a divine sorcerer, a divine creator here. So they're going to help you unleash a little bit more that, so you can maximize your results. And that could be a real spiritual education, kind of what's going on in the background. Like you're supported to let go of fear and negativity. They're supporting you. You're a magical person. And the things that you're working on are definitely going to create results. And they're supporting you in so many ways. They're telling you to unleash more. Um, there's going to be results here for you. It's... I almost, I, I almost feel like I don't do it justice with everything I'm feeling I'm getting because our language doesn't even convey like what, what I'm getting. But I hope you're getting it on another level because they're the ones that are supporting you as you're doing the work here, as you're manifesting, and they're helping you in the way that you're doing it. And that is what is going to be really powerful that as you're thinking things, they're going to be helping you with creative ideas. As you're thinking of things and noticing maybe I have a fearful stories or you're letting go of what you're saying to yourself, they're keeping you more focused. Um, really focus on your work and what is paying off and what is going to give you greater results. And you're going to find, they're telling you you're a magical sorcerer, but you're going to see evidence because it's going to pay off. You're going to get results for it and you're going to have a sense of gratefulness for it. So they're doing so much to like maximize your results from your hard work. That's amazing. So it's like divine help and um, maximizing your results of your hard work. Yeah, look, it's eternity. For eternity. Love and eternity. That like they're with you as you're doing the work for eternity. Like, oh my gosh. Gently move your awareness from the external world to a world of light within your heart. Allow each breath to heal you as you drift to a place beyond time. Eternity exists within you, forever sparkling like a diamond. You are, in essence, a shining star, forever transforming to ever greater light. Like the love for you is amazing and what's happening is like they had said that that they are supporting you to increase your sense of influx in some way and it is supporting you to be this magical sorcerer here and not only are they supporting you with new things coming in but they're keeping you energized and connected with them so that you continue and you know that you have love support backing as they're actually having you create this. And not only that, but as you're thinking and figuring things out, they're helping you to maximize this in some way. And the maximizing is going to be an internal and external job because the internal is the surrendering the fear, surrendering negativity and surrendering back to creativity right? Because they're saying you're a magical sorcerer. So stay lit and do the work and here are your results. You are backed with love for eternity. They want you to feel it as you're sitting here in your heart. Here is the love backed by eternity. Do you see the angel here? I mean, I don't know what else to say about this and I can't convey in English like my all the what I'm getting here. It is beautiful. And this is going to override. They just saying, never forget. You, that's the connection that you have here. It is priceless. That's what came out in the abundance reading. They are definitely helping you to do the work to max your abundance, to max your results. They're bringing definitely things on the outside in for you to get to work on. They're actually helping on the inside for you to stay lit. And as you're figuring things out, how are you better tweaking things? How are you better supporting yourself? How are you 
they're telling you you're a creative sorcerer. When you're focused and lit and doing the work, it is paying off with results. They're keeping you in your heart space and also very psychic so that you're getting this closeness with them and you're getting a lot of divine guidance as well as you're doing this. This is maximizing your results, maximizing the way that you're doing your work, the way that you are actually supporting your creativity over fear, right? Your uh, divine ideas to carry out over negativity. There's something about this because as you're thinking and doing the work here, they're keeping you lit and like more open so that you're actually using everything they're giving you to max your results. So this is very, very powerful. They want me to get one more guardian angel messages, but this is definitely all about maximizing your results in some way, maximizing the way that you're doing the work here. And yeah, they're ending with a prayer. They're really supporting you as this creator, this magical person here, the one that can manifest with clear intentions. Prayer. Dear guardian angel, to you I pray, when I'm fearful, Again, they're banishing out the fear here. When I'm fearful, help me remember that only love is real. Here, love eternity. Only love is real. When I'm lost, help me find my way. When I'm confused, help me to regain clarity. They're giving you the clarity here. When I feel lonely, help me feel your loving presence. Here's your connection. Let us connect together here. Never forget your love. Love never dies. When I perceive chaos, help me to see the order. Thank you. I mean, they are just bringing you right back home. They're keeping you seated here. I don't understand how I can say this anymore, where you're feeling their connection very strongly, that they are actually helping you to maximize your results. They're actually keeping you so lit that you're actually um, over, over shining fear. Does that make sense? Because they're keeping you, they have to keep you focused doing the work where it's paying off in results, that you're actually grabbing everything they're giving you. They're telling you you're a creative manifester, that you're a clear manifester. And as you're thinking, figuring it out, how to increase your results, they're actually giving you divine ideas that you're getting because you're psychic and using all everything they're giving you, all the creative ideas. You're the magical sorcerer here. Keep doing the work. You are supported by love for eternity. And whenever you feel something different, they're really having you strongly connect together with them and so that you feel this love with you always. Um, they're keeping you lit on the inside as much as they're giving you things on the outside that are going to give you greater results. This is divine support for greater results as you're doing the work. And But to feel this sense of love is going to be so profound because like I said before, that is where you're gonna feel your love support backing that's giving, keeping you lit, keeping you feeling like that creative manifester here, staying focused on your work is gonna be so key. Do you see how they're pointed? Um, and they're maximizing your results on the external and internal. And I can't say that more enough because they're the ones that are telling you that you are this creative magical person. Who tells you that in the physical? <laughs> Who is telling you on the daily that you're a magical person, that you can manifest your clear intentions into reality, that that's why they're assisting you in clearing out the fear and just staying open to creative ideas, to stay focused on your work, to stay focused on your abundance, stay focused on making things better because they are, are actually assisting you when you're that when you're there, you're going to be grateful for that assistance. You're going to see things paying off when you're doing that. You're going to see results coming in from your hard work. That's the promise. This is what's coming in. And they said, you just hold on and you stay connected to them in your heart space. Trustworthy psychic information and feel the closeness with them. Never forget your love. Love never dies. Here's love eternity. And here it is. They're keeping you like so connected with them. It's not even funny. You're going to see results from your hard work. You're going to feel amazing results from your hard work. They're almost like helping you to maximize your abundance in ways. Um, I wish you the best uh, for the 15th. And this has kind of been repeating messages for the month of April when it comes to um, magnifying, magnifying, maximizing your abundance results for hard work where they're keeping you is very much focused on the work, focused on your projects, focused on being a creator, a manifester, um, because it is that effort that they're helping you do and not being bogged down in fear and more leaning on create creative ideas, manifesting and doing the work because it is paying off. It is getting you results. They are even bringing in more things that are gonna add to this. 
Um, so that's your love support backing. So I wish you the best for the 15th. I don't even know what to name this. This is so supportive for results, for hard work leading to results, for abundance. Definitely divine help when it comes to abundance. Because I love how he's even focused on the jewel here. And the Ten of Ariel is all about pentacles. You know, that feeling of results, the feeling of being so grateful that you have financial success coming in or the promise of better from your hard work. Um, and they're just making you the creator. You are the sorcerer. You are the clear person who is manifesting this. So, and you're probably going to feel clearer. And that's what I meant by up a notch. There's something about this being magnified in some way. Look how she even has this, like it almost looks like a magnifier. There's something about this that they're magnifying this ability. And that I'm saying why I keep babbling is because it's almost like a learning curve. You could be finding that it's a learning, you're learning a lot of how you're maximizing your abundance. And I think this has been a spiritual education in some way, as much as new things are coming in for you in the physical to stay focused on and you're working, but on the inside, you've been getting an education on how to maximize this for yourself inside and out. It's just really beautiful because as I said, they're very close to you and you're receiving a lot of trustworthy psychic information. It's really divine support for maximizing abundance, maximizing your results. Yeah. And I wish you the best with all you're doing to do that. I wish you the best. Take care. Bye-bye.